Hello everyone, this is Schnepper1337, and I'm going to be bringing you another C4D tutorial. This time I'm going to be making some bubble C4Ds, so uh, let's get right on into it. First, you're going to uh, hold down your mouse on this cube right here, and you're going to go to Sphere. And um, you can change the size if you want to, I'm just going to leave it how it is, because of the way that I make it. Um, and you're going to go right up here to the toolbar, and it should say MoGraph. If um, it doesn't say MoGraph up here, then you're going to want to go out over to Layout, because I had to do this. You want to go to Layout, and um, just put it to Cinema 4D Menu. And um, So you're going to go to MoGraph, and you're going to go to Cloner. And then you're going to drag the Sphere in layer into the Cloner layer. Um, then you're going to want to click on the Cloner, and I put my count up to 5. Oh, wait, hold on. No, you got to go to Mode first and put it in grid array and then I put all my counts up to five and then I just put all my sizes really high like 3500 maybe yeah that'll do um, and then I just gonna wanna scroll out so you can see it all and you're gonna go back to MoGraph go to effector and go to random and then drag the cloner layer into the random layer then click on the random layer and um, right down here where it says transform um, and it's p.xp.y and p.z just uh, play around with these I put mine pretty high usually um, And then uh, I'm just gonna scroll out so I can see everything, and I'm gonna just pick a um, a, a sphere that I want to be like the closest bubble, and then I'll just like zoom in on that one and um, play around with the rotation until I get a view that I like. You don't have to do it with this many if you don't want. Sometimes it looks better with less. So now that I've got the shape of my bubble C4D, I'm going to go to material, new material. And I'm going to drag this new material onto the random layer. And then I'm just going to double click it. And I always set my color to black. And then I go to luminance. And I hit the bar right here, and um, and then I find a texture that I like. But I'm actually going to go get a different texture from online, so I'll pause it and put it back up when I have it. Alright, so now I've uh, got my texture downloaded, and I'm just going to import that. And I'm just going to see how that looks by um, hitting the render view. And um, it looks pretty nice. That would look pretty nice in Photoshop on Lighten. Um, oh yeah, and one more thing in the materials. Um, reflection, put it on for now. Brightness at around 25 and mixed strength at around 30. And now go to render settings. And um, I'll just show you my what render settings I use. I've already uh, shown this on my other tutorial, but I'll show it again. Um, so it's 1920 by 1280 and um, on the save menu it's PNG alpha channel selected then on options I have the default light off because I create my own light with a plane and then I have ambient glow on and I have global illusion glow, bleh, global illumination on IR plus QMC still image um, and that's just some nice settings that help it look more high quality. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select a hypernerb and I'm just gonna drag the random into a hypernerb. And that's just gonna boost the quality of the image by a lot, make it look a lot better. So now that um I've got all of that done, I'm gonna add my own lighting. And I actually have never done this for a bubble C4D, so I'm gonna do it a little bit differently and add multiple. 
but um, I'm just going to make a plane and I'm going to change the size and I'm just going to drag that where I want it and rotate it how I want it. And then I'm going to gonna hit control X and control V twice to duplicate that and then I'm gonna move it to another spot Ooh. it doesn't matter all right now that I have these two I'm just gonna put them into a null object there we go and I'm gonna click Cinema 4D tag, compositing, and scene by camera. Unclick that so that it doesn't show up when you render your image. And now I'm going to create a new material. Drag it into the null object. And um, I'm going to keep the color how it is. I'm going to change the luminance to like a light blue just to give it a slight, like, light blue glow. And then I'm going to put it on glow. And I'm actually going to unclick this and put it on an even lighter blue. And um, that'll just give it even more of a blue glow. And I'll put the outer strength up a little bit. And then I'll uh, go ahead and render it and I'll show you when it's done. Alright, so here's what I got. It turned out a little, like, sharpened. Uh, that might have been... From the hyper nerve or from the lighting effects that I had on it um, but I think it looks pretty nice so thank you for watching I hope this was helpful and please comment rate and subscribe